Built more than a decade before the Civil War, it's said to be the oldest stone railroad bridge in Pennsylvania still in use. By all definitions, it's massive, but still is somewhat hidden in rural Susquehanna County. WBRE 28, WYOU 22 photojournalist Joseph Butash takes us to the National Historic Civil Engineering Landmark, the Starucca Viaduct, in this week's Eyewitness to History. The viaduct was the eighth wonder of the world. Nancy Mess's family roots in Lanesboro go back generations before the pre-Civil War stone marble was built by the Erie Railroad. I mean, they adored it, they appreciated it, they had a fondness for it. It was, was a reverent respect, and it's still there. The Starucca Viaduct, the very famous bridge built in 1847-48 in Susquehanna County, Pennsylvania, built by the Erie Railroad as a shortcut to Buffalo, New York. The Historical Society has thorough documentation, photos, and history of the construction as compiled by the late William S. Young. The Bridge of Stone. That's what the charm of, of the viaduct is. Retired farmer Ray Barnes lives in the shadow of the Stone Arch Viaduct and marvels at the construction by some 800 laborers led by Julius W. Adams and James P. Kirkwood beginning in 1847. If you walk in the woods at this time of the year especially, you can see where the quarries were, a lot of them, where they took the stone out. It speaks highly of their engineering. I mean, it's sitting on the pile lasters and, and their wood, and yet they're still holding for all these years. It's easy to get to, and you don't expect it when all of a sudden you are facing it, and it is just wonderful. There's quite a few people that come around, take pictures, and some ask to go down back. We own this land down back, and they go down there to get pictures of it, so on and so forth. From 18th century landscape artist Jasper Francis Crossy to modern day drone video from Access Aerial. The Starucca Viaduct has been captured in thousands of images, but must be seen in person to experience the grandeur. When we show people the paintings, we do recommend that they go over to see the viaduct. It's a quarter mile long. It's a hundred feet tall. My function was to raise awareness that this significant anniversary was on the horizon. It's just, it's natural beauty. With your WBRE WYLU Eyewitness to History in Lanesboro, Susquehanna County, I'm Joseph Butash. There is so much history in our area and so important to honor it. Norfolk Southern owns the rail line, which is maintained by the New York, Susquehanna, and Western Railway. Area historians hope the upcoming 175th anniversary of the viaduct in 2023 will be embraced by the railroads.